Don't know much about his story. Don't know much about biology. Actually, I do know a lot about biology. I want to talk about, I want to jump into a very, 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 very touchy subject today. Right? People think that that climate change is a hoax and, and, uh, and human interaction on Earth has nothing to do with any of the problems that we're seeing in the world, that, that everything is just part of God's plan and that everything is just the way it should be. Right? Well, I beg to differ a little bit. You try to convince me I'm wrong at the end of this. Huh? So when I was in college, right, I know you guys think I'm fucking, I'm full of shit most of the time. Uh, just a dick joke guy, right? I know, I, I watch your comments. I know what you think of me. You think I'm just a dick joke guy, but I'm actually very, very smart and very, very uh, intelligent and educated. And I went to college, right? When I, and when I went to college, I, my favorite subject was biology, right? I don't know much about bi- history. I, I didn't know much about history, really, but I knew a lot about biology. You know why? Because... Feel, look at how, how big this book is. See this book? See how big this book is? Remember when we had books, right? This is from, I went to college in the 80s, right? Because I'm old. Right? I'm an old motherfucker, right? So, and so by the, the point I'm trying to make is that this book, right? This fucking book, right? Of all these pages, I read every one of these goddamn pages. Every one of them. I, I remember one summer I, I sat and I took my book to the park and I read my book, right? And in this book, I learned about biopsychology, how, how the cell, all right, how, the, how the one cell can, how it interacts with uh, the parts within that cell. And a, and a cell has a lot of different parts. I'm not going to go give a biology lesson, but there's a lot of... We'll watch a video, right? Because now, now we're in the age of video, and you can. I'm going to play a video of, uh, of cell biology. But it, it, there's a there's a new report out, right? It says that that was screwing the planet, right? That was the point I'm trying to make, right? That's the point of the video. <laughs> that we're screwing the planet. Are we screwing the planet as human beings? A lot of people object. Say, no, no, no. That's just uh, that's just uh, that's a hoax. That's China made that up, right? That's uh, no, that's a. Uh, that's just liberal nonsense, right? Oh, fucking climate change, and but not so much climate change. That's not the, the big one, right? That is not. That is. There's still a gray area. Uh, I, I don't even think it's gray at this point. But there's a, there's speculation as to how long, uh, we can continue to warm the planet bef- before it pops, right? That's the the argument. But what is inescapable, and I, I don't see how it is how you can make an argument for it, that we are destroying most of the, the uh, species on this planet, right? So I'm going to read some, some statistics. The UN just did a research report. I know, it's just science is bullshit. I know, science is fake, right? Because you have to have faith. You've got to believe in... in, in, the, in the, I mean, I'm a very spiritual person, and, but uh, I mean, I, I could give, you know, I could, I could take religions and stack them all on top of each other and set them all on fire, and I wouldn't, I'd be fine with that. <laughs> but the fact is that some of these facts about science are inescapable. Let's take a look, right? So, so the UN, uh, a summary report, right? I, I found this as a hit piece, right? Somebody was doing a hit piece on ABC, CBS, ABC, NBC, MSNBC. Primetime shows ignore landmark UN report on, that's the word, biodiversity. Ah, biodiversity. Everything is connected inside the cell, right? And outside of the cell. That's what I learned from studying biology is that I forgot to make the point. That all of the organelles and all of the little pieces inside of the cell communicate with one another and all have a special job, right? And when any one of them is overloaded, then the you're, you're, you're creating a dissonance within the cell, right? Those are, those are biological principles. It's, it's physics, right? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you've got 10 parts inside of a cell, and one, and they all have their own little function, and one has to do double their work or triple their work, eventually they break down. And then it causes all of the, the other parts of the cell to break down as well, because they're all interdependent. Is, is what I'm trying to say. So that's that's essentially what biodiversity is, that you can go in the cell and then you can look outside of the cell and you could see how other, and you know, developed uh, uh, beings interact with one another or, or develop forms of life or not life, water, plants, 
uh, uh, air, sea, land, sun, all the, all the elements within the, the globe, right? So you can also look at, think of the globe, right? Think of the, the earth as a giant cell, right? Because that's really what it is. That's what I was trying to say before, is that, that um, we are a smaller part of a bigger picture, right? And ra- also we are, there is, when you look into space, space is infinite. But also when you look within, right, when you look at a microscopic level, you also discover the same thing, that, that when you go down smaller and smaller and smaller, things are infinitely smaller. And if they're not infinitely smaller, then what is the smallest particle and then what is that particle composed of? And what are those particles that compose the smallest part of the particle composed of? Right? And it, it goes infinitely lower, smaller, and infinitely higher. Right? So now that your head is about to explode from, from all that, right? what does it have to do with the human beings destroying the planet? Well, it has everything to do with it. Right? So ABC, NBC, and NBC uh, are ignored this thing as if, as if the mainstream media is responsible to tell everybody that we're, we're choking the planet, right? But here's the gist of it, right? Listen to this, right? And then we'll we'll decide later. You can you can you can decide in the comments. You could say, Conti, you're just a you're just a liberal a liberal kook, a a a, 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 a climate change, you know, aficionado jumping on the hoax. Uh, you could say that all in, in the comments. So just bear with me for a second. A summary report released by the UN on on May sixth finds that about. One million plant and animal species are at risk of extinction due to expand, expansive human development. Right? Now, that sentence right there, a million plants and animal species are at risk of extinction due to, to expansive human development. Human activity is causing it. Human activity is causing the extinction of other species. Do we believe that? Uh, is the is the giraffe and the and the lion and the hippo uh, going extinct because uh, I don't know? It was just it wasn't because you know they got tired of living and they, they no they they they're dying because their property and their land and their their ability to thrive on Earth has been greatly reduced as a result of human in human activity. Six billion, seven billion human beings. Uh, on every in every stitch in every corner of the earth, right? that's what's causing it. Right? It's like a cancer. Right? So, the current extinction rate is at least. Listen to this number. The current extinction rate is at least quote at least tens to hundreds of times higher than it has averaged has averaged over the past ten million years. Wow. So the extinction rate in our lifetime. Is, is hundreds of times greater than it has been in 10 million years on Earth. Now, nobody was around 10 million, 10 million years ago, of course, but we could safely say, you know, based on, based on uh, evolutionary studies, you go into the ground, you see the fossils, you see different species. We've kind of figured it out that, you know, other species have evolved. But nonetheless, even if that fact isn't true, we could still look at the fact that we are extincting other species. Let's see. The global assessment compiled by hundreds of experts. I know experts. They're just they're, they're college people with their heads up their asses, right? They have more degrees than a the thermometer. I know. But just for the sake of argument, experts, people that study this kind of thing, you know, um, with data drawn from thousands of studies is the most comprehensive look yet at this at the rapid decline in planetary biodiversity. The report points to a number of human activities that are affecting biodiversity, including overfishing, poaching, farming, mining, logging, polluting. Uh, You know, there's others too, right? Climate change is also playing a large role in fueling the biodiversity crises. See how they put how, see, that's an honest report. Climate change is, is part of the picture. But uh, when mainstream media talks about it, all they talk about is, oh, climate change, it's a hoax. We don't we can't prove it. Right? But, but the things that we can prove is the human activity that's killing biodiversity, right? 
for example, we have, there's too many people. So food supply, right? You start this fish in the ocean, everybody starts to fish and they take all the fish out of the ocean. And the lack of fish, that the fish have a function as well. The people, the fish swim through the water, they filter the water, they rub up against the plants. It's, they're, they're, they're necessary. They feed other species of, of fish that eat that fish. Instead, all the humans eat all that fish. And that fish that ate the fish dies because he can't get the fish because the human ate the fish. It's biodiversity, right? Everything has a, it's, it's reaction, it's action reaction. Everything is cause and effect, right? So that's what, that's what, um, I mean, and it is un, unescapable. What is the, what is the number one species on the planet that has mushroomed into this, this, this thing that has, has, you know, uh, taken over everything on, on, in the planet, right? Everything. We, we take over everything. We say we own land. We own, right? So um, the report points to a number of human activities. I read that already. Climate change is, is one of them. Uh, and the loss of biodiversity in turn threatens humans, right, by endangering. So it threatens us too, right? So not only are we destroying the planet and all the species in it, but ultimately we, we're choking ourselves, I'm going to try to speculate on a, on a solution to all this because you know, hey, why just point out the problem if you don't have a solution, right? And so it's endangering the water, the food supply, and heightening risk of flood and hurricanes. All right, so we have seen increases in, you know, in floods like Sandy over here in New York when it wiped out the, you know, the East Coast. Perfect storm, right? No, arguably. A lot of the storms that we're seeing uh, were were actually already there. In other words, there was plenty of storms and plenty of uh, you know tide risings and all that stuff. Hurricanes. We just living in the information age. We now can document it and see it in real time. So it's likely throughout history a lot of that was already happening. Uh, you could make an argument for that, but what you can't make an argument for is that human human activity is not causing the decrease in species, right, by cutting them off. Uh, so, so this uh, article is based on this very 39-page UN report. And you could go through it. If you're not a science person, you could go through it as you fall asleep on the second page. But I found something, one, one line of it, that, that was the summary you just heard. But here's the one line that, that struck me as inescapable, right? Nature across most of the globe has now been significantly significantly altered by multiple human drivers. With the great majority of indicators of ecosystems and biodiversity showing rapid decline, right? 75% of the land surface is significantly altered. Right? Think about that. 75% of all land has been significantly altered by man. By humans digging, building, chopping, you know, shitting, pissing, whatever people do, right? And and that has caused. I mean, if seventy five percent of of your your space was taken, it would cause you to be, you know, very very confined, right? You'd be confined, and eventually you would cease to exist by this other thing that's taking over everything. That's just common sense. It's not that's not hard to figure out. Right? That is the statistic. 75% of all land surface is significantly altered. And 66% of the ocean area is experiencing increasing cumulative impacts. Wow. 66% of the ocean, too. So we're down to 25% land untouched and 35% ocean untouched. Right? Massive human interaction. Right, And I don't understand how they come up with an ocean number. How does 35% of the ocean, I mean, it's liquid, it's moving around, right? And then, and, and who's to say air? We're, you know, we're obviously polluting the shit out of the air, right? So that, that's a lot of that stuff. Here's a, here's a, I mean, back in the day, I used to, we used to read books, but now check this video out. This is pretty good. It explains the biodiversity of what I'm trying to say is that, that the cell, we, if you look at the globe as a cell and the necessity of all the parts in that cell, you could see how when one part humans, one uh, uh, you know aspect of Earth 
human being, human human kind, starts to escalate to a, a point where it overthrows all of the others, right? It overpowers all the other pieces of the cell. Then you have a breakdown of the cell, right? That's that's essentially what's going on, right? Until it hits a tipping point and it pops, right? Now has Earth ever extincted itself? Is Earth going to disappear? No, it won't disappear, but it could you know, escalate into, I don't know, a new ice age where the atmosphere pops and then it takes another couple of million years to re, you know, reformulate and reheat up or whatever happens, right? And then you'd have another, you know, uh, form of life, right? That's essentially what we think has happened several times on Earth already. So think of the Earth as a cell, right? Uh, Earth is a giant cell. And now watch the actual what we know about cells because they're right here and we can see them. Cells are the smallest living units of an organism. All cells have three things in common. No ma Man, I wish I had this when I was in school. No matter what type of cell they are. All cells have a cell membrane which separates the inside of the cell from its environment. Cytoplasm, which is a jelly-like fluid, and DNA, which is the cell's... It's a very scientific video, but just look at look at the basics of how the the org pay attention to how the organelles interact with one another. That they're they're interdependent, right? One without one organelle, the others will fail in some way to be able to do their function as well. They're they're interdependent on one another. That's the the takeaway, and so are so are the at the elements of the things on earth are interdependent genetic material there are two broad categories of cells the first category is eukaryotic cells they have organelles which include the nucleus and other special parts eukaryotic cells are more advanced complex cells such as those found in plants and animals the second category is prokaryotic cells. They don't have a nucleus or membrane-enclosed organelles. They do have genetic material, but it's not contained within a nucleus. Prokaryotic cells are always one-celled or unicellular organisms, such as bacteria. So what are organelles? Organelle means little organ, Organelles are the specialized parts of a cell that have unique jobs to perform. Let's start with the nucleus, the control center of the cell. The nucleus contains DNA, or genetic material. DNA dictates what the cell is going to do and how it's going to do it. Chromatin is the tangled, spread out form of DNA found in I'm just going to play another, another few minutes of it, maybe two, another two or three minutes. Just absorb, 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 and I'll try to sum it up. Inside the nuclear membrane. When a cell is ready to divide, DNA condenses into structures known as chromosomes. The nucleus also contains a nucleolus, which is a structure where ribosomes are made. After ribosomes leave the nucleus, they will have the important job of synthesizing or making proteins. Outside the nucleus, the ribosomes and the rest of the organelles float around in cytoplasm, which is the jelly-like substance. People. Ribosomes may wander freely within the cytoplasm or attach to the endoplasmic reticulum sometimes abbreviated as ER. There are two types of ER. Rough ER has ribosomes attached to it, and smooth ER doesn't have ribosomes attached to it. The endoplasmic reticulum is a membrane-enclosed passageway for transporting materials, such as the proteins synthesized by ribosomes. Proteins and other materials emerge from the endoplasmic reticulum in small vesicles where the Golgi apparatus, sometimes called the Golgi body, receives them. 
As proteins move through the Golgi body, they're customized into forms that the cell can use. The Golgi body does this by folding the proteins into usable shapes or adding other materials onto them, such as lipids or carbohydrates. Vacuoles are sac-like structures that store different materials. Here, in this plant cell, the central vacuole stores water. Going back to the animal cell, you will see an organelle called a lysosome. Lysosomes are the garbage collectors that take in damaged or worn out cell parts. They are filled with enzymes that break down this cellular debris. The mitochondrion is an organelle that is the powerhouse for both animal and plant cells. During a process called cellular respiration, the mitochondria make ATP molecules that provide the energy for all of the cell's activities. Cells that need more energy have more mitochondria. Meanwhile, the cell maintains its shape through a cytoskeleton. The cytoskeleton includes the thread-like microfilaments, which are made of protein, and microtubules, which are thin, hollow tubes. You get the point, all right? Are you, <laughs> you still here? So we learned all about the cells, right? So what does that have to do with the subject, right? What is it, Gandhi, what the hell are you talking about, man? You're tripping out, man. You go to the cannabis parade the other day and you get, you walk through everybody's pot smoke and suddenly you're a very different person, right? No, actually, so what, so what we're seeing is, we're seeing this biodiversity. You see the parts of the, I'm trying to point out is that the parts of the cell are all required. Right. You have mitochondria, you got lysosomes, you got a cell membrane, you got a nucleus, a nucleolus. Right. You got all these parts, right? And ribosomes and rough ER and smooth ER. It's very erotic, right? There's a lot going on inside that cell, right? And there's this, the, the cytoplasmic endoreticulum, <laughs> right? There's all this shit going on, right? It's the liquid flowing, right? And it could be, you could think of it as giant uh, earth, right? Because then the cells all come together and they form organ organisms or organs, right? You see, for example, like the lysosome is, is uh, responsible for, for toxins, for, for the garbage dump, right? Kind of like a liver, right? So you see how, how it expands. So, so the point of the video, the point of this video is to, to argue that humankind is not overthrowing the biodiversity of the planet is, is almost ridiculous because how do you account for, you just can say, well, it, it is evolution and this is the expansion of man and this is just the way it is, right? And that's, I guess that is fair game. That is fair to say. It is, uh, we've won the, you know, the homo sapien race and we're entitled to, uh, multiply astronomical num numbers and extinct all other creatures. You you may you could make an argument for that, but again, at some point there's a tipping point where if man doesn't figure out a way to to pr preserve the planet or extend the planet in light of the fact that all these other parts are being eliminated, and then he is destined to destroy the planet to you know to choke himself and enter into enter the planet into another uh, phase of uh, recoupment where it either freezes out or burns or something and then a few million years pass and maybe 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 another uh, you know species comes along and and, and I say oh yeah those, the you know like the, like we study the dinosaurs those people will be studying the humans like oh the fucking humans man the humans, there was so many of them, they started eating each other, and they, they ate everything, and there was nothing left. Uh, it's very possible, right? So I, I, make, I, mean, I make an argument. I'll leave you there and say, you know, there is an argument, a, uh, an inescapable argument right now that, uh, that humans have, uh, are, are, we're approaching a tipping point where population from 
has has doubled in 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 less than 30 years or 40 years 70 700 billion people eating and 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 just you know taking over the planet is it's a, it's an inescapable fact so chew on that for a while marcus conti reporting uh if you could kindly become a patreon of this channel and uh you know sometimes it's politics sometimes this is just a video about about life itself right the exploration of life itself like the inescapable reality of being human of being full of cells that are they're interacting with one another or politics too you know whatever but if you want to see this kind of programming continue on the internet kindly uh become a patreon or Make a one-time contribution to PayPal or buy some stickers on eBay. Marcus Conti reporting. Don't forget to subscribe as well because we are living in the age of censorship. And uh, so make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you are subscribed. Marcus Conti reporting.